Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to discuss scrap synthesis. This reaction was discovered by Danko Hens Scrap. It is used to synthesize the quinoline derivatives, where the primary aromatic amines are reacted with glycerol in presence of sulfuric acid and any oxidizing agent. Then they provide quinolines. Here I have shown the quinine molecule where the quinoline is present. So quinoline is also useful to synthesize many natural products. So we can say primary aromatic amines can be converted into quinoline by the scrub synthesis. The coming to the mechanism, first the glycerol is converted into acrolein in presence of acidic media. So how this reaction takes place when the glycerols treated with the acidic media then this H plus ion goes to this hydroxy group and in the next step this water molecule will eliminate by generating the double bond here because it is an enol species so it will convert into the carbonyl compound and will get the 3 hydroxy propanyl because the uh, because of the acidic media this OH will again release in form of water and will then will get the acrolein so first in the first step glycerol are converted into the acrolein then this acrolein will attack on the primary aromatic amine in a conjugated addition reaction manner so we can say that is a Michael addition reaction where the aromatic amine because the nitrogen has a lone pair it attacks on this carbonyl uh, then uh, on the double bond of the carbon carbon and the bond will migrate so here we will get the this adduct in this step because oxygen has a negative charge and the nitrogen has a positive charge so here the acid base reaction will take place this H plus ion will release from the nitrogen and this H plus goes to the oxygen so we will get this compound because it is an enolic compound so here it will can it will show the tautomerase and convert into the carbonyl compound so by the conjugated addition of acrolein to aromatic amine we'll get the n propanyl aromatic amines in the next step the it is the acid catalyst step where the intramolecular cyclization will happen to the n propanyl amine and we'll get the dihydroquinolines so in presence of acidic media this uh, carbonyl compound will be protonated and here we will get the H plus ion so oxygen will have a positive charge then this will generate the carbocation by the resonate, resonance now because nitrogen has lone pair so it can migrate its bond pair of electrons to this carbon and this carbon will attack on this carbon so the ring cyclization will take place and again this hydrogen will release from here and it will get back to the it will get back to the aromatic, aromaticity in the ring so we will get the ring cyclization here and the adjacent carbon has the OH moieties, OH moiety. So what will happen in presence of acid media this will release in form of water and again from when the water will release here the carbocation will generate. So this adjacent hydrogen will release and will generate the dihydroquinolines. So by the third step which is acid catalyzed reaction to n propanyl amines and propanyl aromatic amine will convert into the dihydroquinolines. Now this because it's a dihydroquinoline to generate the quinoline we need to remove one mole of hydrogen to generate the aromaticity in the nitrogen containing ring. So what will do nitrobenzene act as an oxidizing agent and releases the two hydrogen molecule and generate the quinoline from the dihydroquinoline because there is a hydrogen present here also hydrogen so it is one to dihydroquinoline when nitrobenzene is treated on this molecule then this will release the hydrogen and generate the quinoline now coming to some examples where the any primary aromatic amine can be treated with the glycerol in presence of sulfuric acid or nitrobenzene nitrobenzene act as oxidizing agent so what will happen it will generate the quinolines now here we can see we have used the pyridine 3 amine in presence of glycerol so this carbon this carbon and nitrogen will be from this ring and glycerol will provide the new 3 carbon molecule because it will generate first acrolene and then the ring cyclization will take place after the n propanyl aromatic amines so we will get the 
nitrogen containing ri ring here so overall when the pyridine 3 amines react with the glycerol in presence of these conditions it will generate the naphthyridine molecule if primary aromatic amine can be substituted with any other group so here we have taken the fluorine substituted aromatic amine it is treated with the glycerol in presence of ox, uh, in presence of sulfuric acid and nitrobenzene so what will happen it will generate the quinoline here the, this these groups these group remains as it is same it will not affect the reactions in the modification of the scrap synthesis instead of sulfuric acid some phosphoric acid ferrous sulfate or the mild reaction uh, reagents are also used to uh, to uh, to keep the reaction condition in uh, milder like uh, even in the lewis acid catalyst the reactions are proceeded here we have taken the nitro and methoxy substituted anilines now this is treated directly with the acrolein instead of glycerol because glycerol also convert into the acrolein in presence of the acidic media here we can treat directly with the acrolein in presence of the sulfuric acid and the arsenic acid so it will convert into the quinoline derivative so it, these groups are substituted as it is this nh2 group is converted into nitrogen these two carbon will be from the ring and the acrolein provide the new three carbon molecule these three carbon and will get the quinoline derivatives in a similar fashion when the naphthalene amines are treated with the glycerol and in presence of some oxidizing agent the acid, this reaction uh, by this reaction we can generate the tricyclic compound where the nitro this nitrogen of amine is converted into pyridinic nitrogen and will get the benzoquinolines so scrap synthesis is mainly used to synthesize the different type of quinoline derivative we can use any type of aromatic amine which can be substituted with some electron releasing group or electron withdrawing group monocyclic group can convert it into bicyclic compounds and the bicyclic compound can also convert it into the tricyclic compound thank you